Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video and finally going back to the lith tech stuff. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this, and while this isn't a tutorial for the lith tech Jupiter series, this is still a lith tech video, and you're looking at a web page with some Chinese on it and probably wondering, what in the hell is that? Well, there was a game that I downloaded from Rage Zone years ago and on the post it was called cyclone bmx now i've come to realize that's not the actual name of the game largely thanks to a friend of mine from the lith archive uh discord named tupac he um has been helping out with getting a tutorial written up for the server in english basically translating it as well as um, got the server running and proved it and we've played on it. He's played it a ton, says it's a ton of fun, he loves it. I've done I think like one or two races so far because I just haven't had time. Been working on the Prelude, finally runs, update video on that coming soon. Also, uh, you know, I have a two year old so life is crazy. <laughs> but anyway, so I wanted to first try to do some history digging of the game. But it looks like that's actually fairly difficult because since the game was released in China by a company called DOB Game, um, there's not much in the way of the actual game's history on archive.org. Now, I know there's other websites like archive.org, but I'm not gonna, I didn't really decide to take a dive into those today. But I wanted to show at least the history before I showed some gameplay. So, First of all, this is exactly how their website looked in 2008. This is the oldest record of their site, and unfortunately, they were already shutting down the game in 2008. This right here, if we look over here, uh, this is a translated page. So I'm going to butcher this. <laughs> I'm going to so butcher this, and I'm so sorry. Um, but it looks like it's named two different things. Duo... Bow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not going to try. Um, Cyclone will be closed in mid-May is what that one says. Actually, I'm going to click this one too, but I don't know if that's going to take me anywhere. And then um, if we open up that page, it's a little bit of info about uh, Dredger Cyclone, as it looks like it's called. So the first fun skill online game, Dredger Cyclone Technical Packaging and Testing, will be launched in mid -May. Oh, this is about the launch. Maybe. Will be launched in mid-May. Dredger Cyclone is a self-developed online casual game based off the theme of extreme cycling, which combines fun and skill. From the first integration of MMORPG and racing to a more collaborative team mode and gorgeous BMX fancy stunts, this super hot summer will bring a super shocking extreme sports game experience to players. In the final preparation for the tight packaging and testing, our staff also injected all their efforts and energy and strive to shine a passionate extreme sports game world in this summer. So obviously this is translated, so it's kind of rough. Um, at the same time, during the game's packaging and testing process, we will also actively collect suggestions and bugs from players and feedback to make Dreason of Whirlwind fly faster and better. So it looks like there's like nine different names of this game. Um, <laughs> just because translations uh, with Google Translate don't work very well. Uh, Challenger, are you ready? Let's meet Treasure Hunt and become first intimate partner to step into the game i fly i turn i spin flying car to grab money dancing in the air 2008 all in dreaming treasure cyclone so it looks like there's like nine different names here just because the translation is a little finicky um there's not much in the way of anything else on game currently undergoing final testing so yeah it looks like it was actually launching in 2008 but a lot of things you know a lot of interesting things when it comes to this game so 
I wanted to try to bring it up. This is what their website looked like after a little while. I was trying to find like a download link of some kind on the page so I'd know what their downloads looked like. So I could do like download.something.com, download.dopgame.com or something. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like that works. Um, this is learning install. Let's see where that goes. This is a forum post. Yeargame.cn. Let's see if that goes anywhere. There's another forum post, another forum post, another forum post. Um, this is community screenshots. I'm trying, these are articles. More articles. Yeah, so so I don't see anything that's like a download link on their web page. DOB game, DOB register. These are probably supposed to be images, which unfortunately they're gone. And there's no other way for me to really tell what a download link was. I mean, even if I go inspect element, it's probably just stuff that's gone. Index clip image 02, yeah. So no matter what, this stuff is basically gone. No matter what we do. So yeah, images on how to download. They aren't links to anything. So unfortunately, I'm not finding how they did download links for their games, but that's okay. And wow, okay, so this is what this is now, but what we can do is a little magic trick. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, there's not much here that we can look at either, unfortunately. There's one forum post that we can look at. Let's, and it's just a 303 redirect, so never mind. Not a big deal. So, you know, there's not much we can do. As of 2009, dobgame.com was already gone. Looks like advertisers got to it, and that was the end of it, unfortunately. So, and... Pretty much any time after that, it looks like, yeah, it's just been gone. It's just been an advertiser landing page, it looks like. Like, this is 2013. And it's barely loading. Oh, this might be something. Maybe? I want to just be an advertisement, and suddenly I have to redo this video because it's like illegal things <laughs> with my luck. Anyway. Yeah, so there's not really much else there that I can show you. I just took a screenshot of that to show uh, Tupac, but he is an incredibly nice guy. I hope that his name is actually Tupac, and I'm not, like, butchering it, and it's something else, but, you know, whatever. So these are the files. The files I originally got from um, Rage Zone were the server files, which are in the zip file right here, untouched. I made sure I didn't touch any of these. This is like a help folder. Some of this is English, some of it is not, because I think I did some translating myself of the files, but they never actually worked for me, even still. But luckily, with Tupac knowing Chinese, that really obviously helped. Uh, he's been a, a massive help with this. You know, AVP2 tools, I don't know if I've ever actually tested these tools with this, but as long as the world packer is equal to Tron 2.0, then this should be fine. But I don't even see world packer in here for dedit, so that's a problem. So these these tools are already dead, but we have realized that we can use the sudden attack tools that were leaked, so that's where we're fine at least as far as those go. Dedit files. God, this is some old stuff. Holy cow, look at this. I know this isn't the point of the video, but like, <laughs> that's some old stuff. So let's go in. Let's actually do some gameplay here. 
so I can show you guys exactly what this is. So it is lift tech based. It is folders, um, DTX, LTB, object LTO, C, C res, C shell. Unfortunately, these are all what's called packed, which means they're protected um, upon shipment to players. So we can't just simply like open this up in something simple like resource hacker and modify the text strings to put it into English. So if there is a time where we want to actually translate this game, it's going to be a much harder method. But you know, worlds are still DATs. Tupac has an amazing tool that's a DAT to TXT that he has converted all of these maps and he can port them all into uh, D-Edit, which is amazing. That's just one of the coolest things. He's been working on um, cracking it to do like custom maps and stuff like that already. If I can somehow get this, let me see, open link. So like here's an example of him, you know, messing around on one of the maps or something like that. I don't remember if this was a custom map. I know this is, I believe a map from Contract Jack, I wanna say, maybe. I'm not 100% sure what game this one's from, but you can see how small the players are. They're very small compared to the world. So realistically, it's an interesting game as far as that goes. There is an auto patch, but you know, realistically that doesn't matter because, uh, duh, doesn't work. Um, there is a screenshot function built into the game, and I don't know why it's opening in this. But as you can see, the game is all in Chinese as well, which makes it very hard for me to get around. But uh, <laughs> it's been pretty interesting getting to this point. I don't know if this is plain text. It is plain text. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder what I can do in here is far as changing stuff. I know I can obviously change that, but I don't need to, so I'm not going to. But anyway, let's actually get into the game. I'm talking too much. So first of all, I have the shortcut here. It's already set up to go to his server. Thank God. As far as he hasn't, as long as he hasn't turned it off, I don't believe he has. Uh, oh shit, what was my login? I should have looked this up to remind myself before doing... Oh, here's a funny one. So you combat arms players will recognize this. Uh, I believe this is uh, oil rig on combat arms, I think. Maybe it's like a crossfire map or sudden attack, I don't remember, but <laughs> it's one of them. <laughs> and shoot. He actually showed me opening up the map in D-Edit for those of you who want to see the nerdier stuff. He does actually have it working with D-Edit and making maps and has done so much work and has put in so much time already and I wish I could put in more. But like I said, having a two-year-old child, that's been making it different or difficult. Okay, there's my account. Oh yeah, you can probably hear my keyboard. So I gotta remember where to exactly click because like I said, I can't read this. <laughs> but we're gonna click this, I think. Uh, we're gonna click this. So there's the preview of your player. Um, I don't remember where to go. But like there's your money and level and stuff like that. I can go back. I can do the tutorial levels, I guess. I think these are like the trick books or something like that. So you can see all your tricks and how to do them. I already did that, so I can't load that up either about here 
That doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. The shop? Oh, the shop actually looks like it works. I wonder if he could... I wonder if he knows how to add money to accounts so we could actually customize our characters. That would be sick. Oh my god, look at this. This is so good. I am just like ecstatic with this game. I totally can't wait to do any sort of modding with it. Especially like these backgrounds, because like this background, admittedly, yes, it fits the art style of the game. But boy, would I like to do some updates to 2020. <laughs> But, like, there's so many options. I love the... Oh, I love that. The Irish shirt with the shamrock. That is so cool. I think this is probably down or up. Oh, I broke it. Oh, there's custom bike frames. Oh, I cannot wait to mess with this and make custom bikes. Ooh, we getting it. What are these different ones? You're, you can customize your handlebars. You can customize your crank. You can customize... This is the first time I'm seeing any... Really? Really? You can do custom wheels. Okay. Dude. I don't know what this one is. It doesn't seem to do anything. different add-ons for your bike it looks like i don't know if they actually like upgrade the bike or make do anything to it don't know what these are these are different tricks that's really cool there's tricks you can buy in unlockables wow and nothing in here okay so the shop works that's really cool I just need to figure out how to get into a game because I realize I don't think I know how to do that. I am just guessing around. Okay, somehow I've ended up in a game. So you use ASDF for something, for like boost and power-ups, and you use the arrow keys for actually riding and then you'll see when I hit jumps and stuff it's kind of like a rhythm game so like over over down makes me do a trick and then I get boost and there's you know coins and stuff out here so I got plus two coins there there's a way to jump oh my god talking while doing this is very hard I don't remember how to jump Coins are on the way outside on this course. It's kind of pointless. Oh my god! I get it. It's a game from China, and like I'm not trying to make the joke, and you know, say anything. But <laughs> y'all are better at <laughs> this stuff than we are. <laughs> I just don't remember how to jump. Damn. So that's what happens if you miss one. Cool. But yeah, this game is so cool. It's so much fun so far. Ooh, I wish I would have missed that. Oh, so there's boost with F. One of these is a jump button, and I don't remember which one. Damn it, I hit it too fast. But like, let's complete the race at least, because it's definitely worth completing the race. can't wait to have any sort of modding on this game. Especially people making like custom tracks would be so damn cool. And I just, I love the look of this game. It looks so different. Oh, that was a good one. That's the first time I've made one of those. Okay, that was interesting. Cool. I don't know what the mushrooms do.
There is a way to jump. I just can't remember what it is. Oh well. But if you're somebody who's an old lit tech uh, modder of any kind and you also know Chinese and want to help us in translating this game so anyone can play it, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know, you know, on Discord maybe because that would be badass. You know, there's always room for people to help out with a project. And this is something that I've wanted to work on for years and years, but obviously Google Translate's not going to make this something I can do because Google Translate's not as good as people think. But, and yeah, while the physics are kind of weird, um, it's still fun. You know, honestly, it's still fun. So what's it freaking matter if the physics are weird and the textures aren't, no, 100%. Oh, stars. Oh, I missed. But yeah, so that's a race completed. And, you know, that's what this game is. It's a BMX, you know key rhythm game or something and you know I haven't played the game with sound yet I'll admit it so I don't know if there's sound or whatever for any of these maps but like I can select maps here looks like this one is locked but this one's unlocked there's a ton of maps actually I think I just did that one Oh, this one looks cool. I think I've played that one with uh, Tupac, though. This looks fun. Let's try it. We'll do one more, and then I'll end the video there. But, oh, this... Yeah, and there is in-game chat and stuff like that. This looks... This looks interesting. So this is a point-to-point -point race. Interesting. I am not good at these button things. If it was Guitar Hero, I'd be set. Sick. It would be cool to see somebody speed run this game that's actually good at this kind of stuff. Ooh, I barely made that. It's hard to do this when talking. Oh, I just missed that one. Damn it. I am so bad at this. But like at the same time, it's so much fun. I love it. This is a cool level. I like it. Oh yeah. Backflip. Sweet tail whip. The longer you're in the air, the more time you get to do your tricks, which is nice. Which is why you're supposed to be able to jump, but jump isn't working for me. Like a bunny hop, I mean, off the ramp. Wow, I haven't missed one in a while. And I missed one. I almost missed that one. It's like the shorter it is, the harder it is to hit it. Oops. I don't have any boosts, so I can't do it. This is just such a cool game. I don't have boost yet. I just wish there was more of a progression because you go from those just simple three. Okay, that's better. Like I got five instead of like nine. There just needs to be more of a progression. Granted, yeah, I'm getting it, but it's a very steep learning curve. 
I, oh my god, we're gonna live stream this game once it's, you know, better going. That was interesting. So you can bounce off one ramp to another. Oops. This is such a fun game, though. Like, I'm having so much fun with this. It's not what I thought it was going to be. I will admit that, but I'm not mad about it. Like, I was expecting it to be something more like a Dave Mira style game. But that was because I just had no idea because I've never seen gameplay of it because it, we couldn't even find videos of this. Like, if you look on any Western websites, like, Wikipedia doesn't have this game listed under Lith Tech anywhere because people like me are the ones that, you know, edit Wikipedia. And if no one from here has, you know, played this game or heard of it, it's not going to be put on Wikipedia. Now, sure, somebody from, you know, China that maybe did play the game back in the day when it was out in, like, 2008 could have put it on Wikipedia or something, but that would have been on them, and nobody did. So I think showing you guys two tracks, all the customization options, and all the other stuff, you know, that makes for a pretty good video because I don't want to ruin the entire thing for everyone and all that. I don't want to give everything away. But yeah, the customization is so cool. Ooh. Are these like real money things? It looks like it. It won't even let me try it on. I guess those are real money, quote unquote. Like in-app purchase ones. I have nothing in gifts. Nobody's gifted me anything. And then this is your friends tab, which is okay. Sound options. I thought. I guess not. That's a button for something, but it doesn't seem to do anything. But yeah, it's this is such a cool game. I guess that's like notes. I don't know what that is. Maybe for joining another person specifically somewhere. Yeah, you know, I'm going to end the video off there. This is a cool little preview. It's 3 a.m. I just realized, oh my god, 3.01 in the morning again. I wanted to go to bed at like 1, <laughs> but I really wanted to get this video done, and so did Tupac. He wanted to get wanted me to get a video done. And you know what? The modding's going to be fantastic for this game. It's going to be so much fun. I can't wait to get this into the hands of you guys to play it. It's going to be a long road, I think, until we have it at that point. I'm going to start um, working on custom tools. Well, not custom tools, but like an all-in-one modding package for this and Tupac like I said he's translating the setup uh, functions and all that and I believe this is like chat chat sweet yeah so you know there's a whole bunch of stuff we'll be able to do with this game eventually it's just this is the only game I've ever seen like this on Lith Tech Jupiter um, and I even posted on the actual monolith uh, reddit and, you know, even the guys over uh, one of the actual, uh, I think, Monolith developers, um, he actually checked, you know, he looked at everything for me. Come on, work. Like, I was talking to him about, you know, the game, TechX, obviously. We were talking about the game. He had no idea about it. I posted a screenshot of it. You know, this was me and Tupac in the same game. So online does work. But we were talking about it, and he gave me some insight on the game. And we were talking for quite some time, but definitely an awesome game. You know, I can't say enough good things about it because I'm so excited for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys are excited as I am. You know, let's, let's bring this game back. This game is a ton of fun, and I just I can't wait. I can't wait to do races against all you guys and your friends and you know let's blow this game up because Tupac's doing a ton of work to get this thing working and I can't wait until I can have a server running on my own computer in my own home I'll have a program released where it just launches you straight into this custom server and we'll do that 
but I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out, I think. Yeah, 30 minutes. <laughs>